Did you know that owls cannot move their eyes? Wonderful, isn't it? Welcome to the show. Nice to see you again. The carrion crow, Corvus carone, is a passerine bird of the family Corvidae and the genus Corvus which is native to Western Europe and the Eastern Palearctic. The plumage is black with a green or purple sheen, much greener than the gloss of the rook. The bill, legs and feet are also black. It can be distinguished from the common raven by its size. The rook is generally gregarious and the crow solitary, but rooks occasionally nest in isolated trees, and crows may feed with rooks, moreover, crows are often sociable in winter roosts. The most distinctive feature is the voice. The rook has a high-pitched ka, but the crow's guttural, slightly vibrant, deeper croaked cra is distinct from any note of the rook. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? It is noisy, perching on a vantage point such as a building or the top of a tree, and calling three or four times in quick succession, with a slight pause between each series of croaks. During each series of calls, a crow may perform an accompanying gesture, raising its shoulders and bowing its head and neck downwards with each caw. The wing beats are slower, more deliberate than those of the rook. Carrion crows can become tame near humans and can often be found near areas of human activity or habitation including cities, moors, woodland, sea cliffs and farmland where they compete with other social birds such as gulls, other corvids, and ducks for food in parks and gardens. Like other species of corvid, carrion crows will actively harass predators and competitors that enter their territory or threaten them, or their offspring, and will engage in group mobbing behavior as a method to defend themselves. Like all corvids, carrion crows show intelligent behavior. For example, they can discriminate between numericities up to 30, flexibly switch between rules, and recognize human and crow faces. Given the difference in brain architecture in crows compared to primates, these abilities suggest that their intelligence is realized as a product of convergent evolution. Though an eater of carrion of all kinds, the carrion crow will eat insects, earthworms, grain, fruits, seeds, small mammals, amphibians, scraps, and will also steal eggs. Crows are scavengers by nature, which is why they tend to frequent sites inhabited by humans in order to feed on their household waste. Crows will also harass birds of prey or even foxes for their kills. Crows actively hunt and occasionally cooperate with other crows to make kills and are sometimes seen catching ducklings for food. Due to their gregarious lifestyle and defensive abilities, carrion crows have few natural predators. However, powerful raptors such as the northern goshawk, peregrine falcon, Eurasian eagle owl, and golden eagle will readily hunt them, and crows can become an important prey item locally. The bulky stick nest is usually placed in a tall tree, but cliff ledges, old buildings and pylons may be used as well. Nests are also occasionally placed on or near the ground. The nest resembles that of the common raven but is less bulky. The three to four brown speckled blue or greenish eggs are incubated for 18 to 20 days by the female alone, who is fed by the male. The young fledge after 29 to 30 days. It is not uncommon for an offspring from the previous years to stay around and help rear the new hatchlings. Instead of seeking out a mate, it looks for food and assists the parents in feeding the young. Thanks a lot for joining us. We will meet soon. Take care.